In common rail systems, a high pressure pump stores a reservoir of fuel at high pressure of up to and above 29,000 psi. The term common rail refers to the fact that all of the fuel injectors are supplied by a common fuel rail, which is a pressure accumulator, where the fuel is stored at very high pressure. Diesel fuel is drawn from the fuel tank by a low pressure transfer pump. This may be an electric pump located in the fuel tank or mechanical pump which forms part of the main high pressure pump. On its journey to the high pressure pump the fuel will pass through at least one fuel filter assembly. Fuel at a constant transfer pressure is then passed to the intake of the mechanical high pressure pump which acts to increase fuel pressure to around 29,000 psi during cranking and around 23,000 psi operating pressure while the engine is running. Newer systems are capable of operation at higher fuel pressures. The pressure at the high pressure pump is regulated by controlling the quantity of fuel entering the pumping elements within the high pressure pump or by control of the amount of pressurized fuel returning from the fuel rail to the tank. Lubrication of the pump is provided by fuel circulation. The highly pressurized fuel is pumped to the common rail. The fuel accumulated in the common rail is delivered to each engine cylinder by an electronically controlled fuel piezoelectric injector. A fuel rail pressure sensor is used to provide the fuel pressure feedback signal to the engine controller. Each injector is electronically controlled allowing precise operation to deliver the required amount of fuel at the correct time. Common rail diesel fuel systems with electromagnetic solenoid valve type injectors allow a degree of fuel to return to the tank by internal leakage through the injector body, referred to as injector back leakage. Excessive back leakage of fuel at the fuel injectors due to wear can cause a drop in common rail fuel pressure and in some circumstances may prevent the vehicle engine from being started.